Hey world changers, I hope you're all well. It is Susie Beaumont here from Change Your World, an organisation that is designed to inspire you to take up a personal development practice and go to work on yourself so that you can make positive changes in your life. Because when you go to work on yourself and you start making, you start thinking better, you start coming up with better choices and when you make better choices you get better results and then that's when your world starts to change so that is our mission here at change your world to inspire people to take up a personal development practice so that we can change the world in the process because the more people that start changing their own world the more we organically change the world for the better in the process so what I'm uh, doing over the next 10 days is, this is day four, and I am displaying each day, I'm coming up with a different sign that highlights you are ready to change. Because when we are ready to change, there's certain things happen, certain niggles that happen, certain things that uh, start presenting themselves to give you an indication that you are ready to start taking action. Hi there to who are the people that have joined me. I can't see who you are. Do let me know who you are and where you're tuning in from. It'd be lovely to hear from you. So one of the signs, so day four, the fourth sign is that you sense you're settling. Now, this is a really uncomfortable one to admit to because there will be, if you have a sense of this, there'll be a feeling that you'll have this niggling in the back of your mind and you possibly don't want to admit it to yourself because it is an uncomfortable truth and you know as soon as you admit it to yourself there's no going back it's a bit like the matrix you've just taken the red pill the truth is out there and you can't unsee or unhear or undo that and that's what we often do when we are when we are resisting and we don't want to face up to something we just kind of leave it hiding in the background and you know just busy ourselves keep you know focusing on different things keeping ourselves occupied so that we don't have to address it but it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger until the point where you know whatever you resist persists and the problem the issue whatever it is then becomes bigger and to the point you can no longer ignore it so that's when you have a choice and we have sometimes when situation gets so painful you can absolutely be one of these people that says right sod this for a game of soldiers i'm going to change this i've had enough this is too painful i do not want to carry on going down this path i want to change it and they seek help they seek the support that they need you know and they take action you know, they find out what it is or how it is that, uh, what they can do to change it. Sadly, there can be another category of person where they just become utterly paralysed and they stay stuck even more. They just don't know what to do. Now, this is where we always encourage, I mean, I am obviously a massive advocate of coaching because uh, it was seeing a life coach 10, 11, 12 years ago that completely helped me to transform my life and I was completely stuck. I didn't even realise there was another way of living, you know, my life 10 years ago, lots of debt, uh, chronic health conditions, I had really toxic relationships around me. Um, I, even though I had a great job and I was really thriving in that, that's because I threw all my energy into that because I was avoiding all the rest of the stuff that I didn't want to deal with. So all my energy went and focus went into that. And I was just like, la la la, ignore the rest. And then eventually it just got to the point where I was like, do you know what? I'm really uncomfortable with this. I can't keep ignoring this. And I started seeing a life coach and I remember one of the first things he said was what do you want and I was like I don't know I, I just want to be happy and that was the thing you know he said what does happiness look like to you and I was like I have no idea and then he was like well how can you create happiness if you don't even know what it looks like and that was the thing for me <clears throat> nobody ever had asked me this question 
you know, you go through uh, life, you know, go to school. It's like, what are you going to do for career, cho you know, um, subject choices? Then it's like, what are you going to do after school? Are you going to go on to further education, uni, college? What job do you want to do? You know, uh, it's all about the kind of material things. But nobody asks you questions about, hey, Susan, lovely to see you. Nobody asks you questions about what sets your fire light. Where is your passion? What brings you joy? You know, and there's an expectation that we just go <coughs> get a job, <coughs> buy a house, get a family, get the car, you know, do all, get into a relationship, whatever it might be. There's an expectation of that, but we never actually stop to think, actually, is that what I want? Do I want to follow the status quo? Do I want to do what everyone else is doing? Or is there another life I'd like to create? Do What do I want? Do I want freedom? Do I want health? Do I actually want to do the nine to five? Do I want to work in an office? Do I want to work outside? Do I want to work with lots of people? Do I want to work alone? You know, do I want a job that helps other people, serves the world? Do, you know, whatever it might be, you know, we don't ask ourselves these questions. So, hey, Rosie, lovely to see you as well. So, a sign, one day four, a sign that you are ready for change, because this is what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm looking for people that are ready to start making changes in themselves. Susan is one of our members in our online coaching group. She is absolutely active, ready to make changes and is making changes, making some great transformations in her life, has already made some incredible changes. And that's what it's about. So it's looking, how can I help you? If you're at that stage and you're ready for change and you're thinking to yourself, I am sick to death of having this problem show up in my life, or I want to change this, this is holding me back. I would like, you have dreams and aspirations, but maybe it's confidence, limiting beliefs. That's something we've been talking about today in the online coaching group. This week has all been about limiting beliefs and how to reinstall more positive, empowering beliefs. We've been doing this with um, Stephen Aitchison, who's super passionate, is like super infectious. We've had three amazing coaches for this month. This month has all been about nourishment and we had Gemma Ray uh, for the first week talking about self-discipline being the highest form of self-care, just talking about the promises that you make to yourself and actually how to keep them so that that builds confidence, you know, self-esteem because you've committed to yourself. The second coach was Janice Klein, who <laughs> so passionate about gut bacteria. So we were talking about nourishing your gut bio, uh, microbiome to boost your immune system, boost your health, your productivity, your mental health skill, you know, the, your well-being and just, you know, your focus, just improving everything. Everything starts in the gut. And if we, if that is out of kilter, off balance, then it affects everything, our sleep, our moods, our hormones, the foods we eat, the cravings, our um, energy levels, which obviously has ripple effects into all kinds of areas of our life. You know, our productivity at work, how we relate to our relationships, our friends, our loved ones, you know. So all of that. So she was, her passion was super infectious. And it's the same with Stephen. He has just been, you know, he's supposed to coach for 20, 30 minutes each morning at 8 a.m. Keeps going on till 9 a.m. because he's so passionate about the subject and just trying to help people. So this is an example of the credible lineup of coaches. We've got 50 plus coaches in the group already. Uh, with different, doing different topics each month. And we keep adding to those coaches. So the beauty of the USP about this group is that you get access to an enormous range of content from different speakers, bringing their evidence-based uh, techniques, rather than one group that is led by one person. Because the challenge with that is that, you know, you, if you don't like that person, or you go, you can only be taken as far as you can with that person because, they essentially, you know, they, they have got a limited amount of knowledge and wisdom to share and it's valuable knowledge and wisdom. But the beauty of this group is that is a variety of coaches, tools and techniques and you can connect with those coaches one on one, you know, read their books, have one to one sessions with them, do their workshops. And, you know, there's all kinds of exclusive offers just for our members. 
And this is all for just a pound a day or a dollar a day or a euro a day, depending on where you're watching this in the world. And that's what I am looking for. I am looking for the people who are ready to change, the people that have said enough and they are looking for that support. I am here offering this service and I want to help you. So if you're sitting there thinking, yeah, there's changes I want to make in my life. Yes, I am ready. Yes. I hear you, Susie. I feel I am settling and I'm not reaching my true potential, which is a really uncomfortable uh, realisation to make. But rather than berate yourself and spiral downwards and stay stuck, take the first step, reach out, whether it's to my group and come, and come on board with our group. I, to be honest, I don't care if it's my group or if it's somebody else's group or it's a self-help book or it's a one-to-one -one life coaching session with somebody. Take action and do something because you are ready. And the more people that go to work on themselves and start reaching their potential, the more we change the world in the process. Imagine if we had, I don't even know what the official figure is now, but seven and a half billion people focusing on their self-care the health and well-being, the happiness, the joy, what makes their heart sting and going to work on that and then, you know, eradicating their limiting beliefs and the things that hold them back. Can you imagine how this world would transform? Even imagine one billion of the population doing that. The ripple effect of that is incredible. So this is what we're all about. We're inspiring, encouraging more people to come on board take up a personal development practice and like I say we've got this incredible resource and amazing content in our Change Your World Everyday group and we've got a two-week free trial so do come on check it out see what we've got to offer and if you've got any questions you can give me a shout either private message me here drop a message in the comment and if you know somebody that's struggling right now because obviously a lot of people are going through some life-changing situations because of the pandemic, COVID, what have you. Share this video with them. Let them know that this resource is available and help me and help us spread the ripple effect and reach the people that are ready and do really want to go to work on themselves. So that's all I've got to go to say, uh, what I've got to say today. So love to you all. Take care. And if again, a no day four, number four sign, the fourth sign that you are ready for change is that you recognise that you have a sense that you're settling, which is an uncomfortable truth to acknowledge, but it means that you are ready to start making changes in your life. So take action. So Love to you all. Take care and uh, yeah, pop your comments in below. Like, comment and share and let me know your thoughts on this. Are you settling? Are you ready for change? If you are, what is holding you back? What is stopping you from taking that first step? Take care. Bye.